don't get a chance to uh, interact with you as much as I'd like to because the comments go so fast. Morning, Clover. I don't get, by the time I've looked at a comment, it's gone and it's like 50 comments up. So I'm having trouble interacting with you because the comment section goes so fast, right? So I will just put this by you. Morning, Zoe, darling. Ah, oh, thank you, Crystal, for sending the subscriptions. And to the mod who's just, just done this poll thank you so much so right we'll we'll go on a poll so what i would like to do thank you crystal thank you darling what i would like to do is one sub only live one week just so i've got a chance to speak with the people that subscribe because you know that they have put money into subscribing to me i do the waffle on the 15th of every month where you get 50 pound back but i just want to give you that much more of an exclusive live you know and uh, you can't afford to sub what you understand yeah so it's like it's not a way of me making more money please believe this it's just so i can have that one-to-one -one interaction the comments ain't going so fast like the other day monday i didn't even realize the comments were on sub only chat and i was i was really the comments were bad Do you know what i mean thank you wally b thank you clas but i'm lit so for those that can't subscribe i understand and i apologize and i will give some subs out okay uh, next week we'll give some subs out i will um but i need to do this for my subscribers um I don't know if there's a way that you can watch on the FYP. I know that you can do it in some lives where you can watch from the FYP without subscribing. But it's something that I've got to give back to my subscribers. All right. But like I say, next week I will give some subs away. Uh, so if I, do, if I do a quick poll for the people that have subbed, would you like to have a, a sub only live on a Saturday? Uh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. It's just giving that a little bit more back. So, I'll have, so it's only really for the people that have subscribed and you are in here uh, so yeah we'll do a poll yes you would like a sub only live on a Saturday um, so we'll leave it to the subscribers where I can interact with the comments more and get to know you know people a little bit better or are you happy as it is and you know that my brain goes off 10 miles to the hour and i just don't keep up with the comments you know what i'm saying so happy face yes you would love a sub only live on a saturday sad face you don't care and you're happy with me kind of doing what i do anyway and and please only vote if you are a sub guys please People are subbing that. People are, are, are commenting that it subs. Oh, thank you, Arena. Thank you, darling. Thank you, Bambi. Thank you so much. I know people are voting away the subs. I know. Oh, what do I do, guys? Because the comments just go so fast and the room's so busy. Thank you, guys, for all the love. All right, then. So because that's quite high and I know that people are voting that aren't subs, right? Uh, most of no, yeah, yeah. So, all right then. So on a Saturday, I will be doing a sub only live. Um, it's only fair because exactly that, it's a perk for the subs and there are other creators that, you know, do FYP shows and things like that, that do put things, you know, on for sub only. Uh, I would like to do that because like I said it gives me a chance just to get to know people a little bit better so with that being said on only on a Saturday guys it's only one day a week if you are a subscriber we will do a sub script oh okay put a sub on sub chat okay then that's fair enough okay all right all right okay that's better so all right what about just a sub only chat on a Saturday yeah a sub only chat on a saturday we'll do that okay guys because it isn't really uh, this is what i'm saying i've always been dead against sub only lives what we'll do then on a saturday we'll do a sub only chat all right so the people that don't want to sub or can't afford to sub because you know three pound for, for some people is a lot of money do you know what i mean so yeah it's fair for everybody then and it thank you truth hurts so on a saturday 
All right, we got there in the end. I just wanted to run it by you. We'll do a, a sub-only chat on a Saturday. No sub-only live. Is that all right, guys? That's a better idea, isn't it? Yeah, because then everybody's happy. All right, then. All right, then, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really for the sub-only lives, to be honest, but it's just more of a way for me to, you know, interact with people in the comments, people that have took, you know, time out to sub and things like that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so we'll do that, guys. Thank you, Emma Darling, for the row. So, okay, there we go. Everybody that's watching on a Saturday, so tomorrow morning, it will be sub-only chat, all right? Yes, that's what we'll do. Because uh, then everyone can still watch, can't they? Do you know what I mean? And then the cam twos can still cam to and everything else. Oh, thank you, Prince, darling, for my potato. Thank you. And everybody else that's sending the heart, miss. So, yeah, it's fair. I like that. I like that. Right, guys, we've got another 300k. Thank you, Prince, darling. Thank you, Wu Bin, for the response. Oh, we're popular number five. You don't mess around this morning. Oh, Joey, darling, it's lovely to see you back. I ain't seen you for ages, Joey. I love you too, Dippy Egg. Thank you very much. And Gailey. Emma has just become a six, seven month subscriber. Oh, thank you, darling. Um, and everybody else for the love. So, yes, tap it up, guys. Listen to the MT one. So, it's Friday. For me, it's Chinese food day. And I'm absolutely buzzing. My order is chicken fried rice. I love you too, Claire. Thank you, darling, and Chloe. Chicken fried rice. What, do, what else do we have? How special curry? Beef chow mein. Peaky spare ribs. And a few prawn crackers and salt and pepper chips on a Friday. And I get so excited because I cook all week. On a Friday, it's like and two poundings. Thank you for that Kirsty. I'm never going to leave that one down. Hey, do you know what I want to know? Thank you, Martina. How much that Karma Kaz one made on the iTunes for that song? That's what I want to know. <laughs> yeah, so can everybody relate? So you spend all week cooking and then, uh, you know, you get a a, a takeaway day and it's like the most exciting thing really is and really to be fair I shouldn't still be cooking every day of the week because like my kids are all in the 20s now do you know what I mean we've still got two that live at home do your own food I suffer with guiltiness you know they ain't got a meal on the table I feel bad I feel like I'm like thank you Ali darling for the for the hearts not the hearts the wristbands and the roses I feel like uh, I'm neglecting them yeah you think got a meal on the table? Are you the same, Charlotte? You feel the you feel my pain? So you can relate, mothers, fathers, and anybody else, you know what I mean? Uh, my takeaway day is a Saturday. Yeah. Friday for me, darling. Thank you, Sarah and Rose, for the response because I'm just that shattered come Friday afternoon. I, I ain't got the energy to even get off the deck, off the sofa, not off the table. Uh, so yeah, right, guys, we are there with the likes uh, throughout the live. If you do want to continue continue contribute to the gift target we do have some i love yous up uh that would be amazing you know you can do the wristbands tap the screen comment everything is appreciated uh very much so uh, chloe my daughter did this my daughter it's just gel it look filter slip <laughs> it's just gel nails she's really good really really good because I, I bite my nails you know how she's put like a white end on these uh, i love you too thank you darling thank you that's all folks and charlotte but i've still got two long nails there at the end thank you jade i love you too darling yeah she's really good um uh, uh, tiktok account is hanksy22 ah uh, love you too tammy thank you darling and charlotte and michelle uh beauty is only skin deep absolutely that absolutely that uh, so yeah guys my daughter's page is hanksy tutu and she's just like you know doing her nails and things thank you that's all folks and whoever said that i miss that are you a nail technician oh zara yeah you'll have to go and follow her page she's only just starting out but she's uh she's really talented really really talented thank you danny thank you darling Right, should we get on with the FYP news, guys? Oh, and tomorrow as well is the last iPad day. Yes, tomorrow is the last iPad day. Bun the iPad, everybody. 
Bun, the iPads, because it will be gone. After tomorrow, we're going into the digital age. We're upgrading to the... Uh, uh, no, I'm not. Absolutely not. Thank you very much. I've just seen your comments. Oh, uh, yes. Alexa, play the BBC News theme. Alexa, play the BBC News theme. Alexa, play the BBC News theme. Here's BBC News theme by TV Theme Tune Factory on Amazon Music. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Miss Red Show. Alexa, wake up, bitch. We will be having the FYP news, FYP gossip, why am I whispering, and drama. We are also going to be opening the boxes, yes, where you can come in and have your opinion, but please do it respectfully. Please also keep comments respectful because you may get muted, if not. Also, we'll, we'll trigger one as well. Jump scare. Alexa off. Buckle up buttercups. Why am I whispering when I was doing that? Is it because the music was so low? I don't know. Uh, right, let's get on. Morning, Sarah, darling. Good morning, my darling. Tilly, be pleased you won't use it. Last, she only uses it in the morning before she goes to school and for a couple of hours when she gets home. But it's really slow now because um, she's got like 50 million games on it. It's just full of full of kids games but occasionally she'll click on the TikTok icon and she'll land on TikTok uh, yeah so oh god imagine a nan pops up do you know what I mean arguing with Gem Zeno what time am I on till Phoenix around about half 11 12 o'clock but next week it will be longer because I've got the uh, TikTok studio I can let the videos play for longer because when I hold the iPad up it, it's a bit jarring, do you know what I mean? And it kills the shoulders. Uh, <laughs> why don't you put parental controls? Smoog, smooger, that is a brilliant idea, but I ain't got a clue. Uh, all right, does anyone know how to put parental controls on the iPad? Oh my God, I'm gonna have some trouble with this TikTok studio. I was speaking to Cockapoo, Cockapoo yesterday and uh, she was like, I can't wait for the meltdowns that you're gonna have with this TikTok studio. Uh, Luke's on it, Luke's gonna help me with it. Thank you, that's all folks. I remember when I worked for Spartan's agency for two weeks and it took Frenchie three or four hours to help me down download the apps uh, and you know, log in and everything. So God knows how this is gonna work out. Pop a pew, that's a new one, pop a blame. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what I mean, it's cockapoo. Thank you guys for the love. Mm -mm. Right. Where are we? Bun the iPad, guys. Here's, here's Luke the Cloud Chaser. Luke, I'm just telling everybody I've roped you in to help me doing TikTok studio, live studio. Jody, it's so I can have the split screen, you know, like uh, Lucas and Zach and everybody else. Uh, it's so I can do that and I love the headphones and everything. Uh, but I've dreaded it. Thank you, everybody. Uh, I need 200 pounds. Uh, I do too. Hello. <laughs> right, where are we? Right. I love these troll videos of me. Do you know the funny ones? You know, I sit there and I'm howling, but honestly, where do you people come up with the ideas? Morning, Libby, because they're absolutely hilarious. I'm, I'm loving them. Do you know, like the, the, the friendly troll videos, not the nasty ones. So let me read this to you. Miss Red returning to TikTok and her husband's reaction. So I want to play this. <laughs> It was the best way forward. Yeah, you decided it was a... Please don't undermine me all the time, Simon. And it's allowed us to trust each other again, hasn't it? Yeah. We decided it was the best way forward. Yeah, you decided it was a... Please don't undermine me all the time, Simon. And it's allowed us to trust each other again, hasn't it? Yeah. Right, so... <laughs> For the troll... Not actually a troll, you know, just a, a video creator or whatever. For the, for the person that made that video, it is on Steve. Uh, my husband actually supports everything that I do. Um, 
he was the one that actually told me to get my ass back on TikTok and not let the haters get to me. Oh, thank you, Luke. Oh, big love, Luke. Are you shaking your bum at me? Can everybody please follow um, the top gifters? Uh, that would be Luke, that's all folks, Holly B, Only Crizzle, PJ, Claire, TJ, Short But Sweet, Prince Brat and Regan. That was, if you want to follow the gifters, that would be amazing. So I just want to say my husband is absolutely 100% 100 supportive of everything that I do on TikTok. Um, he doesn't like it when I'm having to come off because, you know, I'm upset or anything like that. You know, I will be honest there. He doesn't like that. But he is very supportive of everything that I do. Thank you, Emma. And he was the one that kind of like said, you know, get your ass back onto TikTok and don't let them win. Um, yeah. So thank you, Crizzle. I love you too. So these people that think that uh, and are speculating that mine and Simon's like marriage is in trouble due to TikTok, it's all bollocks. He's very supportive and he would be the first person if he really thought that I, I couldn't take any more like the other week the when I come off he, he's the first person to say that's it off now you know very very supportive of me that's why we've been happily married for, for nearly 10 years uh, and that's the truth so please leave like these rumours out about me and Simon because he couldn't be further from, from the truth I love you too darling thank you yes he's so supportive Hence why I married the man. Yes, we love Simon around these ways. And also as well, it's really funny because when we're out and about and like, you know, people are like, oh, Miss Ritz. They're like, oh, is that Simon? I'm like, yes, this is the Simon. Oh, I love you too, man. Thank you. So, you know, he's got a little bit of TikTok clout now. <laughs> that is all about it. He loves it. <laughs> Justice for Simon, guys. Bro, where are we? Oh, guys, I really want to show this video. This is this is uh, actually me. I'm a massive uh, animal lover, dog lover. I love dogs. And uh, <laughs> I treat my dogs like babies, and I'm sure many of you dog lovers too. And also cat, you know, any of our pets that you... Thank you, Stacey. You know, you equal, equally treat them like kids, but this is actually me. Uh, we brought Tilly a swing set for a birthday and the first person that got to sit on the swing was actually Susie. Uh, so yeah, this just reminded me of last weekend and I actually did this and Sue's loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Can I ask you a question, everybody? Yeah, I loved I love pugs. Who can relate to that? If you if you've got an animal, do you treat them like babies? Because like I say, Suze was the first one on that swing. Like I, I didn't actually put her on the swing. Thank you, Karen, for the, the little hearts. I, I sat her on my lap while I was on the swing, and she loved it. It wasn't Simon, darling. It wasn't Simon. Um, Simon, I would probably divorce Simon if he wore socks and sandals. I'm not going to lie. I've got to think about socks and sandals or socks and crop. So if Simon ever did want to part ways, he would know that the only way to get rid of me is to is to wear a pair of socks and sandals. I'm not about it, but each to the own. Thank you, Misha, darling. Uh, your boys are... Uh, yeah! I mean, if you... Like, the guy's got uh, socks and sandals. I'm not about it. Can't cope. Uh, I love Crocs. Yeah! Crocs! Crocs! Oh! Crocs are okay, it's when people wear socks with them. I don't know, it's just a, oh, okay, my dog had two prams. Yeah, dogs don't judge, just love. I oh, know, thank you, Instagram. And I, oh, I know. Sorry, guys, <laughs> it's Friday, you know, it's at the brain, can't go. Ooh. Socks and Crocs for life. Oh, do you know what else I don't like? Thank you, Granny, darling. Do you know them? Uh, Flip flops, do you know the ones that go in between the toes? <sighs> oh, like literally, it makes my stomach churn. Crocs and socks are cool. Cockapoo, don't even try it in the chats. 
Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Julie. Yeah, the, the thing that goes in between the sandals. Thank you, Stacey, darling, for the butterfly. Yeah, so I just wanted to show you them two videos. Right, where are we? Where are we going first, guys? We've got a bit to talk about today. Well, not a bit, but it will, you know, start the conversation off. Thank you guys for the love. So, uh, yesterday, somebody joined in the box and they mentioned Only Tony Official. Uh, and I was going to talk about it, but I hadn't seen... Thank you, Stormy Rain and Stacey. I hadn't seen the whole... Uh, the whole content of what had happened. Um, so like if I explain, I don't know if people have seen it, but I've since looked for the videos where the whole, you know, things going on where everyone's in the box and they're going at each other. And I cannot find it. I can't find these videos, but just to break it down. So basically what happened, Only Tony Official uh, had uh, an argument with some other women in boxes and, and some uh, questionable things were said by Tony. I think, you know, he lost his temper and everything else. Uh, but I just feel like with that, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm going to play some videos in a minute off the back end of what's happened. I feel like if you're on TikTok, right, and you you are advocating, thank you for thank you, darling, for the for the B. If you're advocating, is that the right word for you know bringing awareness to um, wrong guns and putting posters out and things like that? You, I, I feel like you lose a lot of credit when you jump in in a box and speaking to women the way that you know he was speaking to them. Do you know what I mean? Um, whether you lose your temper or not, whether you lose your temper or not, I don't feel like you should be speaking to women that way because I've been in boxes with men and whether I'm doing these men's not in or whatever, whatever, it's like I don't believe that, you know, I should be spoken to in certain ways. So I think you lose credibility when you when you're speaking down to women like that especially when you have so much support and you have so much respect because of the things that you have done where safeguarding children are concerned bringing awareness is concerned you lose what you're setting out to do which is protect when whether these women you know are the worst women in the world or whatever you know i think there's levels that you go to to you know to, to get do you get what I'm saying guys you lose the argument you lose the absolute argument when you're speaking to women in in the ways that you do um, so yeah so that's what's happened basically so what I'm going to do I'm going to show some videos off the back of that and I know us women ain't angels we're not angels you know we've got gobs on us and we know how to trigger people myself included I know how to you know set people off if I wanted to but to be spoken back in that way and have so many triggering things said it's disappointing you know and I do believe that people have a right to be upset and also as well you know you need to come on and take accountability it, it does work but work both ways but i think when you're on here and you have to hold so much respect for protecting children and doing awarenesses and you go in boxes and you you know you speak to people like that i think you lose you lose the respect that you've gained you know so i think coming on holding your hands up apologizing to people and you know doing better and I think, you know, you can win some people back round. Um, men have emotional reactions to that. Absolutely, Natalie, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when you go to the lengths of, you know, what he went to, to kind of like go back, you know, you kind of lose the argument. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm no angel. I'm absolutely no angel. Uh, yeah, and this isn't me having a dig at Tony. I'm just saying what I see. Hello, side. Oh, the daughter's just got back in. Are you doing the walk of shame? <laughs> no. Hello. What time did you go out last night? Oh, what time was it? Like, nine? Nine o'clock? I think so. And what time is it now after? <laughs> Are you still hanging? I think I'm still drunk. What time you got work? Uh, I'm leaving at like three for work. Well, you better get up and uh, drink some water and have a little sleep. Yeah. <laughs> no, she stayed at her mate's, guys. She was at her mate's. Right, let's move on. So, 
obviously off the back of this um Tony and No Face were actually friends and no I've seen on the FYP that No Face has parted ways with only Tony Official over his actions. So I'm just gonna play that video and then I'm gonna play some more videos. I wasn't happy with it. I approached him about it. He's told me he's signed versions of events, right? And he's told me to listen to the screen recording, which I listened to over and over and over again. And I, like I told him, I can't hear. I can hear something, but I can't hear what it is that he's trying to tell me it is. Yeah. I I can't stand by people that are going to be out doing this sort of thing. Yeah. I've got my community, and we've never stood for that sort of thing. So I have told. Tony that like I have with other people when they're fucked up and done shit on the app that I will I'll, I'm pulling myself away do you know what I mean like I won't be Thank associated you. with Tony no more do you know what I mean like good luck to Tony and what he does in the future but I can't run with that yeah and it's as simple as that I'm not gonna sit here and slag him off I'm not gonna sit here and cut him off I don't agree what was said last night I told him that I don't agree with the PLM thing as well I've told him that that Karen's a lovely person and she was probably dead can I just pause off. that video a minute I don't know what no face was saying when he was talking about the PL PLM thing I don't understand that um, I'm a bit out of the loop you know just because I do TikTok and I do FYP I genuinely don't know everything thank you guys for the response thank you so much I don't know everything that happens on TikTok believe it or not I tend to do my news you know my show and then you know I'll go off and I'll pop into Jay's or to Luke's you know I'll probably spend about an hour all in all on TikTok once I've finished you know my own show so I don't know 100% thank you Pauline thank you so much what's happening and what the association with the PLM thing is uh, thank you Julie so I, I don't know I don't know what that that is after that I have had my words with him it hasn't been a, a silent thing do you know what I mean like I've had a man to man with Tony and I've said do you know what I mean so I'm not going to sit here and I'm not going to come people up online yeah I've, my, my views and I don't agree with it and that's it and moving forward we're going to continue with our thing we're going to do our thing and that's it alright I wasn't happy with it I approached him so I like I don't like I don't mind Tony you know I think when he was doing his awarenesses and things like that you know we supported him in here i was all for it i thought it was brilliant i thought what he was doing and everybody else that was connected to it was amazing i just feel like um his temper gets him that's why all the temper gets the better of him and you know the mouth goes wild and he lets himself down um do you thank you guys for, for all the love thank you so much do you feel like no face uh did the right thing there or do you feel like he he should have stood by him uh because i know that like when i went through what i went through a couple of weeks ago a lot of people disassociated with me which i understood and that's fine you know i respect that I, I respect that people didn't want to kind of like associate with me or stand by me but I'm not going to lie I was hurt I was I was heartbroken especially some of the people that did separate from me like you know guys we also have uh, helplines up here as well thank you to the mod that did that um, because I don't know I'm like I've always been ride or die do you know what I mean certain things you can stand by and certain things you can't and I understand that however it, it did hurt but I get it and I understand it so I'm just going to do a quick poll yeah big up the mods thank you Jackie and Coco who believes that no face has done the right thing do you feel like no face has, uh, has done the right thing or no you'd stand by your friend do you know what I mean but personally myself I get it so I'm just going to do a poll um, there's a poll in progress alright guys I'm just going to cancel that poll if that's okay and if you don't mind putting it back up that would be amazing because we are talking about a sensitive situation um, so quick poll yes no face did the right thing sad face no he should have you know uh, ride or die situation don't, don't jump ship because I've stood by my friends, you know, they've done many controversial things on here and I've stood by them. Thank you for the response, everybody. Uh, would I now? Uh, I don't know. 
I don't know. I can't say. It depends on how serious things was. Uh, I would have to... Yeah, I don't know. But I am... Um, like with people that I have been associated with like I've got no alliances with anymore and I will be more truthful with the FYP if people do fuck up not out of revenge or malice but you know because I can now I can kind of like come from a more honest place with my opinions yeah so everybody thinks they did the right thing okay and 157 people no sorry guys my ear popped so um, going on from that um, there was lives um, held there was there was lives held all over TikTok obviously because it was a serious topic of conversation a lot of uh, women were triggered a lot of people were triggered not just women thank you that's all folks so you know these debates and lives go on uh, to bring awareness or to talk about the situation which it's what TikTok's about right it happened like I say um, when any other creator has gone through something controversial controversial so you know it's going to happen with this situation um, and like I say I believe people People have a right to be outraged and, and speak their opinions and the truth on how they're feeling about it. Uh, but I'm going to play this video. Um, it says only Tony responds to Hayley comment, what Hayley comments said about him. Uh, and this is on Gailey. Uh, I like Gailey's content. Gailey714. Uh, I, I love your content, Gailey. I think you're very fair with it. So I'm just going to play this and then I'm going to. Do I play what Hayley Comet says first or do I play what Tony says? Because this is what was on my FYP, you see, guys. Um, so we'll play what Hayley Comet says and then we'll play what No Face says, all right? Because it seems that these two are, you know. Yeah, it's so important. It's so important. Like, and I'm not just talking on behalf of women. Whoever said that in the comments, I did block them actually because I'm not having anyone defend a man that says that. Like, my platform is for victims and it is for survivors and it is for warriors and it is for people who actually have a heart and compassion. And I. Oh, what's going on with this? So we feel like even. Thank you, Expose. I feel like even if you say Guys, something I'm, in temper. Sorry, someone's popped up on that. The. Yeah, it's so important. Right, let me it's start so again. Like, and I'm not just talking on behalf of women. Whoever said that in the comments, I did block them actually because I'm not having anyone defend a man that says that. Like, my platform is for victims and it is for survivors and it is for warriors and it is for people who actually have a heart and compassion. And I always feel like, even, thank you, Expose. I feel like even if you say something in temper, you don't go around and defending it and doubling down on it. You actually say, actually, I've just been a CUNT. I've said something that's completely unforgivable. And I think you don't have to be a victim. You don't have to be someone who's been through it. You don't have to be a survivor of it to be a parent of a daughter and say, actually, I would never, ever, ever have any man say to my daughter, you deserve an punch in the face. So I am going to hold myself to a standard as a parent that I am not going to spill that shit into this app. I'm not going to ever say that to a woman, whether I'm drunk, whether I'm in any place in the world in an argument I am going to hold myself accountable and I tell you if anyone ever said that to my one of my daughters I'm going to come for you and I'm going to come for you hard so I'm never going to say that to another woman because that's what it's about and you certainly can't go around the app acting like you're the saviour and you're protecting women you're protecting children and then when you're angry go for women like it's ridiculous you know if you're overly shouty, if you're overly aggressive, that enough is going to be too much for some women. Let them know when you're actually saying to them, you're taking their trauma and you're weaponizing it against them to put them in the place and shut them down as women. It's gross. So when he comes in on his back and goes, thanks for the screen recording, use it all you want, put it all over the FYP. Let people know that some people do see you. I don't care how big you are on this app. I don't care how you're going to drive around the country looking for my house. I don't care. I literally am going to always stand with women and I'm always going to stand with good women who do not deserve that and I would stand with any man who has been through that as well. I would stand side by side with them no matter who the person is. It's literally ridiculous. Okay, so that's basically uh, Hayley's uh, take on the situation oh Tony's here thank you Tony Tony's here uh, so obviously we are talking about the situation that's happened with you Tony uh, and I did say like when you're doing such amazing things men also do suffer we need to remember that um one minute sorry when you do so many when you've done so many amazing things bringing awareness on TikTok you know protecting children and things like that 
I do believe the anger gets the better of you. Do you know what I mean? Uh, and some of the things that you said, you know, were out of order. And I believe that, <clears throat> excuse me, you know, if you are bringing awareness on such serious situations, you know, just do a little bit better. If you are losing your temper and you are saying these things, you've got to expect people to be upset about it. But when I open the boxes, if you if you want to jump in the box and have your say, you're more than welcome. Uh, but I just think you need to do a little bit better and not lose temper in boxes and like with the things that you said as well. Do you know what I mean? It triggered a lot of people. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is play Tony's versions oh, of events. Not, not Tony's versions of events. Tony's uh, kind of like, you know, answer to what Hayley said. Never. I promise you, that's what was said. Reply. For some reason, Reply. everyone has their heart set against me. For whatever reason, I don't know. No, uh, uh, Chani, tell her play the full recordings. She said that. She said that. I swear on my mother's life, she said that. People, I fired up a lot because I tried to get into Haley's to tell Haley what they said, and they, I got blocked. Trolling in the comments. I wasn't trolling. I was defending myself. Not trolling. I come on this fucking app, people. I do fucking every sort of charity stuff under the sun. What, you're telling me I'm going to sit back and take that shit? No. I gave, I gave the people my passport and my DBS to do checks on me and I said to them three or four weeks ago if you find anything under my name expose me and guess what nothing do you know why because there's nothing to expose me on nothing I'm not I'm not getting stressed out no more but I'm not going to be uh, ganged up and have lies told about me like this But aren't you pals with them people you asked? What people? I'm uh, Curly Whirly. I'm just going to pause the video because I have seen uh, a, a, a couple of comments. In what way, please, has it been taken out of context? Because, like, I, I started to watch the videos yesterday, all right, and I didn't get a chance to watch the whole thing that happened in the live that it happened in, in right? Okay, so what, what's being twisted? I don't get what's being twisted. Um, yeah, so I don't know. People know what's happened was in the live. If Tony wants to join the box, if people that was involved in the situation join the box, what's been said and what's been taken out of content? Yeah, if someone could jump in and explain, please. Some people, some people are out of order. Yeah, so guys, please join the box and explain. Right, I'll take. Whoever else was involved on the other side, you're more than welcome to come in, but I don't want no shouting, no arguing in the box, please. We can have a conversation like adults. Um, hi, Tony. Hi, good morning. Morning. Obviously, we're covering what's happened regarding you. And yeah, of course, of course, and I'm glad you are. But um, basically, uh, there, there was a video on the FYP, which has been twisted to say I'm going to punch... That, or does that woman want to be punched in the face? No, that's not what was said exactly in them boxes. When I explain my own story uh, to, to them in the boxes, to expose them in the boxes, yeah? She turned around and said, would I learn from my mistakes? Would I learn from my lessons? And I turned around and said, would you uh, say that to someone who's been punched in the face? Would you ask them if they wanted to be punched again? That was flipped and twisted and put on the FYP. So last night, I was trying my best to get it slowed down, yeah, or to get it to get a clear version of what was said. 
So if I, so the FYP video that's there, um, can I can I play the slowed down version? Yeah, it was completely taken out of context, and that's what I was trying to get into the box. Now bear in mind, no one has said anything about them telling me to drink myself to death, throw myself out in front of a bus, go and go and do whatever because no one no one is bothered. Yeah, let me let me try to play this version. It's it's a bit clearer. You can hear me asking a question. I didn't say would she get punched in the face. I asked her a question. I asked. I said, would you say to another, say to someone who's been beaten up, I say to a woman who's been beaten up, would you get punched in the face again? They ran with that and try to say that I said to her to get punched in the face again. That that's not true. So I'll try to play this quickly. See, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still heard what I heard that day on that voice note. See, and and about see if you listen to this. I'll try to get it on the part where, where it says it, yeah? I tried to do this last night. I, ha I had a load of live feeds last night to play it. So if you listen carefully, it says, would you say this again to any woman who's, beaten up, who's been beaten up? Would she get punched in the face again? Would you, would you get a punch again? So if you listen to just before where it says, would you get a punch again? Would you would you get a punch again? Right, just before this, with there, with there. Would you would you get a punch again? What's that? So, and with that, my kids. Would you would you get a? So, and with that, my kids. Would you would you get a punch again? Now I asked a question, but we we was both talking at the same time. Didn't hear me actually asking that question. Didn't hear me asking that question. And that was one of the people who just come in and done that in the box. That was one of the people who came in with that group, putting all the purple and doing that uh, song again, yeah, that night. And that's why I argued with them and I said, you're covering the screen. You're coming in playing the clap clap song. And that's why I said to them, are you all part of the PLM? Yeah. Um, one second now. I think I, I'm glad, I'm glad that, that you told a woman with cancer to drop dead, Tony. No, 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 no. Hang, hang on for a minute. Hang on for a minute. Drop dead with cancer. Dead, dead, Tony, that, that's Tony right. what you said was the next box that she would be in as six foot under. So, so, that, so you're telling me that that was a woman that came in with I'm cancer. that woman. I'm that woman, Tony. Okay, Lisa. Thank Lisa. you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Lisa, thank you. Can we have one at a time, please? Lisa, Tony. Yeah, Lisa, can I say something to you? Yeah, if I was on that it's live on that feed, line. all right, and you thought for any reason whatsoever, I said to you to go and be put in a box, I'll openly apologize to you. But as far as I'm concerned, I was arguing with someone. I don't know the history. There was a lot of people attacking me on my live feed, coming in just like that Judas did right now with all these clap clap songs. So I, I apologize if, if, listen, I don't even know who you are, never mind um, anything that you're going through. So I just want to apologize to you right now in this box if that's the way you took it, yeah? People were saying you wanted the box and I said you're not getting the box because the first two people I put in only jumped in and gave me a lot of a lot of aggravation and you all came in at the same time. No, no, Tony, that's half a story. That's half a story. Lisa asked for the box. Please, go on, Lisa, darling. Tony, what happened was they were in the, the clap clap a song and I've got the recording where you were laughing about it. You were joking with the clap clap song, Tony. Then the song called Narcissist, which is about domestic violence, is the person with the song about it. You laughed. We put the purple heart in. I was the first one and said purple heart for DV survivors. You then have now mocked it, laughed at it, then decided Real life clicked, and when it's about all oh, that, actually something's going on, and you turned it on to PLM, Tony. So, can, can, yeah, because, I am not because PLM. Because earlier on in that I am day, not PLM. Earlier on in that day, yeah, I had so was in a separate person's live feed, yeah, when there was an account that came in that kept following me around, and someone in that live feed said that's so and so from that group, yeah. Okay. Later on that night, when I went live. I've seen a load of the purple uh, stuff coming in, yeah? What I realise now is what the hearts are for. I only ever associated that purple with in the past as that group, yeah? And that's being up straight and honest with you. That's, that's what everyone used to say to me before. So that's the reason I said, I said, you must be all PLM or you're all PLM, yeah? It was a mistake. 
And I hold my hands up to that and I would like to apologize. And I wish you all the best with everything that you're going through. But as for that other video that, that was said, that I said to that woman, she needs to be punched in the face again. That is not, that is not what, what was said. I Tony, asked the question. Tony, can I just jump in a minute? You yeah, seem, go ahead. You, you seem oh, to be apologising to a lot of women it recently. It seems to be women. Uh, yeah, but I never get women apologise apologize back for you when they attack me. Yeah, but get Tony... An apology you... back. I was told to throw myself out in front of a bus yesterday. I was told to drink myself to death. Um, I, I was said there was a lot of things there uh, said yesterday, but not one person can pick up on that. It seems to be whatever I'm saying... That's the only thing that gets heard. Yeah, but yeah. Tony, you, see, you, you seem to be a lot worse when you're drinking, when so, you're drinking. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I hold my hands up. I hold my hands up. I, yeah, I won't lie to you. After, when, I, when I've had a couple of drinks, I maybe misunderstand a few things. But this, I will not apologise to expose for this because I asked the question after she mocked my DV. But apparently men can't go through that. Yeah, I've got, I've, got, I've got a Marek team over me. There's even a stalking unit over my ex, who, bear in mind, three weeks previous to this, they allowed her in the box to call me a pedlo, to call me a... Um, to say that I'm charged with, with, with DV, I'm not allowed around children, I'm not allowed to see my own children. They terrorised us for three weeks. For three weeks, we got terrorised. Yeah, three weeks. And she allowed my perpetrator in the box to slander the life out of myself and my family. I've never once never been won. convicted of DV. Never once. So Can I just say something for? before I drop down? I'm going to drop out the box. Okay. Tony, could you do me a favour? Stop yeah. drink driving, mate. It's not... Uh, it's way, not. Listen, as, as these other lies with the drink driving, there was no motor ever, ever moved. There was no motor moved. If you can, if you can show me a video, I don't believe in that. Listen, you can replace, you can replace a bit of metal but you can't replace someone's life. I would never exactly. drink drive in my life. Exactly. Do never. me a favour. Do me a favour. Stop drink driving. You were seen put, on live. Your car moved, put, Tony. Put, you went to a car park to your house. If, if you so that's a lie. That up that's on an video, absolute please. lie. Put that up on video. I went, I turned my, I put my screen on and I showed where the keys was in the house. I showed where the keys was. You go on, you go on and on and on. No, listen to me. You go on. Not Tony. Please listen to me. You go on and on and on about Olivia just about to have a baby. Why don't you try and stay sober just in case she goes into labour? But right, so can, I, can, I, can I ask you a question? Yesterday, do you, do you know any dates that that what what things certain dates is going on in my life? Do you know why I had a couple of drinks that day? You keep. Do you know what's going on in your life? I don't know what's going on in your life, Tony. I'll answer that. But the thing is, drink driving, drink driving is no excuse. It doesn't matter what's going on in your life. Drink driving is no excuse. It's no excuse for anything. There you go. There you go with the lies again in front of four. It's no lies, Tony. You've seen. I sat and watched the live. I sat and seen you. Your car moved. Play the clip. If you have the clip now, play the clip on him in the box of me moving that car because I can assure you that car never moved once. I can. But you tell me. You tell me how you got to. You tell me then how you got for the car park to your house. Then, did you get out the car the and push it outside of my house? Or? The car park is outside of my house. Ah, uh, okay, whatever. The car park is outside of my house, and that's a fact. I walked from that from the the, the car to the door of the house to show people where the keys was. He did do that. He did it in Angie's live. Just I seen the clip and he yeah. wasn't. Driving. I actually showed the keys. So this is another lie in front of four thousand seven hundred people. I, no, I it's not, never, it's not just me that's seen it in front of four thousand seven hundred people. You're all about the numbers. I in front of four thousand seven hundred yes, people. Because if you're being slandered and told Tony. lies about, you'd rather, I'm, I'm, I'm here to try to thing. try to tell people that they've got this twisted. That they've got this completely twisted. I have done wrong. I sincerely apologise to Lisa. Never meant to affect you in that way. I just thought you were part of a group. No, no, that but you came know what you did, Tony? I woke up at three o'clock this morning, and do you know how many messages I had thinking I was PLM? Do you know what uh, I mean? Listen, that's what, what I'm you saying. About wishing death on you. Mate, right, you know nothing about my diagnosis, right? You know nothing at I, all, I, right? And I didn't even know you no, had no, that. No, 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 no. I didn't even know there was anything going on about that. And then you were thinking my, my profile was being sent over to all these hunting groups. They were being posted as mate. You had people, your mate from um, Mac is back or whatever he's called. You had all those other people in the live. Tony, that's what you did. I'm not, I'm not 
I, I don't accept your apology on behalf of every single domestic violence man and woman that is that is being affected by people and i'm not going to say man because you'll twist it that i've attacked you as a man i ain't a man hater um you your words what you did over and you got triggered over some hearts tony Hearts? Yes, be because if because I've oh. tried to explain it to you, I've been terrorised by that group before in the past. And you've terrorised women. What I don't understand why you all came in as a group uh, messing no, about on my I life. In, I, I was in the live. I watched you in Fee's live, mocking, saying, "How do you not know that I'm not? I haven't been accused. I haven't been. Um, I haven't been. I'm not an abuser. How do you know that?" And you were, and you were going, I'll tell you a story. And they were going, no, Tony, come on, come on. You've had it. I was in that life. So, yes, so, I, so, I, so, so basically, Lisa, can I, can I please say one thing, yeah? If I was that bad, a whole group came over to mine, jumping into my box, which you arrived with them, yeah? And I got these uh, hearts uh, mixed up that, that evening, yeah? So like I said, I apologise. You all came in provoking totally me Why did you unmod feed. all your mods then? Why did you unmod all your mods and then only add them near the end after it was going wrong for you? Why did you do that then? Because I've got that screamer no, come because Bond says, it was, why it was have late. you unmodded? It was late. I added one mod. No, Tony man. It, it was it was late. There was hardly any mods on. It was late. When you've when you've done wrong, right? I'd have I'd have a little bit of respect for you. I've got none, right? And I messaged your live because I've spoke your live previously in messages and check and back that up, okay? And I'm, okay. I would have a tiny, tiny little bit of respect for you if you just went. You know what? I was. I, I'm not taking your apology about the the purple heart, the mocking survivors and things out, right? But just to go, you know what? I was pissed and I thought I was a Billy Big Balls. Uh, no, I won't. I won't say that. No, I, I was, I was drunk, and I thought you were part of a group, which turns out you're not. So I apologise for that. Well, Tony, what I'll do is I'll see, Miss Reddy, if you can download this part of the live for us, send us it, and then when people come or when the next time I get threat, death threats or anything like that, I'm going to have to drop now. I've said that. I'll go. Oh, listen, but only Tony officials now apologise. Only Tony officials now apologise. Can I ask you can a question? Can I just mention can you, can... this video? Sorry, Tony. Yeah. So we listen, if you listen to that full video, they were asking if Tony has learned his lesson from the voice notes, etc., and the messages that he sent. And yeah. Tony has said, uh, uh, yeah, of course, blah, blah, blah. It went on like that. And then he said, it, he's kind of said it in an insinuation that if you get punched in the face, would you go and get another one? And I think that's the, the context that's missing. If you snip it into just that, do you want to get another punch in the face? It does sound like that. It sounds It's a bad. rhetorical question. It's a question yeah, that is no answer you, to. See, the thing with this is that, as and I don't thought, care who says what, Whatever you say is going to get twisted to fit people's narratives. Yeah. Now, I'm Tony's mod. I've been his mod since the dinosaurs were built, I reckon. And he didn't add mod me to do his live and then mod me at the end. I was his mod all the way through. It, it was twisted badly, Miss Ray. Can I just say, um, Tony, honestly, you've explained yourself a lot of times now. So I just think you've explained yourself, you've apologised for things that you think you've done wrong, and that's all you can do now. But I don't yeah, think that's, so. right. that's what I'm saying. If, if anyone got triggered from my live feeds, yeah, and like I put up a statement last night and said, you're more than welcome to unfollow me, you're more than welcome to stay away from the page, but I'm not going to have that post be put up to say that I told a woman to get punched in the face. I, I, that's not that's not what was said. When no, she you said really to me, I've been on the outside for a week. And I said, can, can, I, can I just speak? Yeah, I'll, 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 be, I'll be two seconds. I accidentally joined this what, the live by accident. <clears throat> I probably joined at the wrong moment to where Tony said, I am best on aliving myself. Now listen to me as somebody that's lost her mother only eight days ago to suicide. It's disgusting. And if you think that that's acceptable to say something like that, you need to get off the app and go and get help now. No, they said that to, no, they said You that said to it. Me. Listen, I spent an hour trying to remember who was in your live messaging to come and check on you. I'd message Panda to come and check on you. I felt so sick that you would drop something so easy like that seven can days I, can ago. Can I just respond here? And I never ever come on live, but I'm Tony's partner, the mother to his children. Oh I just, I, and I'm extremely sorry for what you had to go through in regards to losing 
your family members, etc. But I just want to make one thing very, 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 very clear right now. When they fired up those live feeds for four weeks, four weeks, our family was targeted with false accusations, malicious lies put out about him being a pedalo, about him being a DV abuser, about him being all of those things. Without any proof, he put up his DBS check, he showed proof of his Marek team, he showed all of these things on live for people to see. I was waking up to this man lying in a bed, shaking, quivering, being put on medication, and there's people in this live feed right now that will back me up on this, that Tony will not admit to out of pure pride. This man ended up in hospital because yes, he did attempt to take his life. So for anybody to sit in here and try and tell me, and try and tell me, or, or as the mother to, to, to our one-year-old little girl and three weeks away from the, the, the birth to our other child, that this man wasn't traumatized by what they put him through, is, is I, I won't have it. And I never come on live. People know this. I never, ever come on live. I don't, I don't speak in boxes. But our family was absolutely ripped apart by these people for three to four weeks to the point where I thought I was going to be raising two young babies on my own. So I will not, I will not, and I, 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 sorry, I will not have anybody sit in this box and say that he didn't feel a certain way because he did. And there's people in this live feed that know that right now. 100%. Um, I, I got a fan group. That's it. And, and somebody in there saying, and the people in the comments sitting there saying that that's lies, I think that's disgusting. If someone sat there and said to you that they've felt like that, and that's how that's pushed them, for you to then sit there and tell that person that they're lying, I think that's fucking vile. I've and never I said I was lying. Listen, I've said nothing about lying. All I'm saying is when you make I'm a comment like that, people are going you to worry. need to listen. People need to listen on this app when people are speaking. Alfie said it was in the comments. He didn't say you, JD. No, no, he actually said it. I had no way of getting hold of... I was messaging Panda, just someone go and check on him. When this app is too much, please get off and go and get help. Okay, so, so JD, JD, can I res respond to that? Sorry, yeah, because I'm going to have to jump out to speak with Liv, yeah? Um, when when, when uh, that woman, that exposed woman, t and, and that group told me to drink myself to death, that no one cares about me, when she said that to me yesterday... And also, they told me on the live feed to go and throw myself out on the bus. Did that? None of that trigger you? And I, I, wish, I haven't seen that, unfortunately. All I've seen, cancer. I just fell in the live towards the end of the I, night. I know that's was... what a lot of people only see. I am what asking I do wrong. you, they please. They don't see anyone else's wrongs. They please see my get wrongs. off the app and go and get help. Don't I, let I, it get I, to I, that I, point. I, it's no, irreversible. I don't need help. I'm not the wrong. Per I'm the wrong person that needs to come off the app. The ones that's been targeting me. Sticking me across the FYP, twisting things in videos. But, Tony, you know, listen, you've got a beautiful family. You Thank do you. not need this app. I promise you now, please go and kiss your children. Get off the app. It's not, not worth it. Can I, can I just speak quickly? Why does everyone pick people up on the retaliation? No one picks up on the instigation. I, I can imagine, Thanks, but Tony. I would be turning this off, off and I'd be going and kissing my beautiful missus, the children that you've got. It is irre the damage that it is causing a family is unbelievable. The, 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 the thing pain. about it is, the thing about it is, this this group. So so what would they do? Move to the next, move to the next target, or the next person to force that person off the app to to wreck their life. Tony, listen, honey. Do? Tony, you have a limit. Don't let them get to you to that point, please. I, I, I know. Honestly. I know I'm a lot stronger this time around. I'm a lot stronger this time around. But I know Alfie put up that video on these on his post last night, the actual video says, uh, would you say to say to a woman who's been beaten up, would you get punched in the face again? I never once said to that woman to be punched in the face again. And so as, long as, in, down, as long as in your heart down, you know you didn't do it, move. don't I've react. Had, I've had yeah, it slowed down, Tony, and I've got Aunt Tracy to send it to Olivia. Thank you hey, very, Tony. very much. I appreciate in it. In your heart, Tony. as long as you know you're doing the right thing, Take your children, take your missus and get off the app and go and enjoy life. Because well, why should he? This why is the point. why, why should do I have he? to be ran off an app due to... Due to for, but you, if, 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 if it's safe, it's, it's affecting you. Yeah. One minute. I don't think JD is, is saying get off the app because you've done some app. Yeah, I know what she's saying. 100%. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, you know, I understand. Your yeah, mental yeah. health is more important than an app. I think 
Science. Please take care of yourselves. It's it, what she's saying. the damage that it thank causes. You, uh, just, thank just, you, Judy. Thank you. I appreciate. Just take time to go and live, go and touch grass, go and laugh, and di this will stop. I promise you. Don't let it get I, you I that I appreciate bad. that. Listen, I'm sorry for for what I said here. Uh, upset you. Yeah, I apologise to you as well. Uh, I just wanted to know you were okay, like yeah, I was going through so listen, much. Listen, I appreciate you coming in. I, I do thank you very, very much for coming in as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank that, you so much. Please yeah, take care of yourself. Thank you to do. everyone in the boxes and mental health does matter. Please do 100%. not affect anybody. Yeah. But but thank Purple you so Hearts much, Mr. Has been associated with PLM. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That that's, that's why I taught. That's the reason I said about that, because earlier on that day, it was mentioned in North Faces Live. There was someone in the comments and someone said when I was in North Faces Live, that is PLM in the box. The account that kept following me around and they said, oh, that's so and so from PLM. And then when this group came into my life that night and I, all I could see was these purple stuff I taught, I said, you're, you're PLM. I that's the reason that. I said that. I do understand that. Yeah, and it's that's the reason I said when, that. And I didn't realise that. Dog, time. Sorry. When you, call, when you corner a dog and he's in a corner, the dog's going to come back at you. So he's had that bad experience with them with them comments and that in the past. So obviously he's going to fire up his life. He's going to see them purple arts and think, fuck me, not this again. Yeah, I'm yeah. saying I'll block him out my and I, but, I, I just want to quickly say, listen, that same group of people are the group of people that labelled this man the worst thing that any human could ever be labelled because that group spun off a narrative of a woman that has done nothing but destroyed that family. I've seen Tony at his lowest, yeah? And I can say the only one person that ever come forward and apologised for listening to that woman's lies was Gypsy Queen, yeah? And now I've got that other group telling me who I can and can't talk to. Listen, I will stand with Tony shoulder to shoulder all the way around this app. No man should be run off this app just because he's defending himself. The same as Alfie's just said, you back a dog into a corner, that dog's going to retaliate. Yeah? Why should he be able not to have his opinion when all they do is talk about his name? They cannot stop. Get his name out of their mouth. Yeah? And at the end of the day, Miss Exposed, listen, you speak to people like shit, yeah? And when people speak to you like shit, oh, narcissist behavior. Let me tell people on here, women can be narcissist be yeah. behavior as well, yeah? So don't sit there and preach that Tony raised his voice when you spoke to me like shit in the box last night, yeah? You know better than anyone else on this app. Stop thinking you are. I am who I am. And if you don't like it, simple. Don't follow my page. Don't follow me. End of subject. Big love, Tony, all the way. Thank it's you. Um, sorry, I'm Tony. So wait, I'm Tony, sorry. Tony, can I ask you a question? Are you saying that no one told you what those purple hearts meant in your comments? Uh, no, from earlier We know them purple sorry, hearts meant no, peeling. No, not, I'm not saying, No, that I'm not, was literally, can Tony, you, can Tony, you, you can actually sorry, go and watch the recording. Can I respond? When the yeah. group came in and all of these was going on, yeah? Then one of the people who was putting them jumped in the box and the same person that jumped in played that clap clap song. And then I taught my own and I taught you're all PLM group here. That's why I said that. Yeah, because I thought you're coming in to be malicious now. And I thought you're all part of that group. And that was the only reason I said it. All but right? people were in your comments. You can see it by the screen recordings. People were in your comments going, it's for DV survivors. And also, I do want to point out that it was only, what, a month when the whole Pearl thing was happening, you went into someone's box and called three people pedalos for no reason because uh, you didn't uh, agree with what they were saying. All right, listen, uh, uh, Courtney, listen, I appreciate what you're coming into. But that, you guys are doing that. <laughs> But there's no one in here Mate, other than people though. that are sticking by Obviously, Tony. There's no one right, speaking I'm for... Not, I'm not sticking by Tony. I'm sticking no, sorry, by I'm... what I've seen and, and my opinion on that video. Specifically. And I also think within that video, if I was in Tony's position, man, woman, dog, cat, whoever it is, if people were screaming at me like they were screaming at Tony in that box, I would retaliate and have the same energy back. I would have said a lot people. worse. And that is I think, true. yeah. If you were giving out a certain energy, people will match that energy in a box. And when so you've got people, people screaming at you like that, you're yeah. not going to be reading the comments. Yeah, I wouldn't either. But I just came up to say, Miss Red, I would probably watch that video a little bit further out. And where is the video, Hayley? Where, does anyone know where it is? We can tag you. I'll tag you. I'll send you a link, Miss Red, for it. But if you, if you listen to it all, it was... 
it, it's basically if you fell if you had a car crash would you go out the next day and have and do the same thing you know it was that kind of scenario it wasn't tony saying go and get a punch in the face that's the I'm only thing that I, I did say. tag myself in the video yesterday on my fyp cancer page but by the time i got to it the video had been removed right. it's on miss forgets so youtube Okay. It's on Miss Forget's so YouTube. I've also I'm slowed drop the audio down. down on I've, I've also Thank slowed you. the audio down, and I've got Aunt Tracy to send it through to Olivia. Miss Ray, pop a, me your number, and I'll WhatsApp it to you. Which is a yeah. slowed down one, and you can hear it a lot quick, clearer. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to jump out. Do you want to play that, Miss Red? Thank you as well for uh, for letting me up in the box. Can I just say? Can I just say before I leave? Oh, sorry, darling. I scrub. Darling, sorry. sorry, I just want to say I'm not judging jury at TikTok. I'm not here to be a judge. All I yes. do is I'm here and I have, you know, I think I've, you know, been quite fair today. Uh, that's all I just wanted to say. I'm not. Oh, here. yeah, no, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you very, very much. Appreciate it. Sorry. What was you going to say, Nana, for? I just yeah, wanted to say that to Tony, me. I was that just scrolling right. through that night. Keep muting me. Guys, can you stop well, muting, please? Thank you. Go on, Nana. For so, I was scrolling through that night, and it, I come across exposed, and I heard him before they even let Tony in. This lady was going, "Go on, let him in, because he won't be effing saying anything to me." Come on, let him in, let him in. I'll give him it. I'll give him it. And that's before we even entered the box second time. Right. Okay. So I, I think the best thing for Tony to do is just, you know, not to jump in any boxes because sometimes you can be baited into boxes, you know, and I think that's a problem, you know, stop going into boxes and react. Yeah, and people can get you into certain situations where they know what they're doing to get you to say certain things. And do you know yeah. what it is as well? It's a very, there's a few accusations. Listen, I don't know the full story. All I know is about that recording. I've got that recording. I know what I heard. All it is is, yeah, it's a very, very serious, serious allegation to sit there and throw around that somebody's saying that. The same, the same people were sitting there saying that he was drink driving. And when he even showed his camera, he was outside of his car, and then when he was in his car, he was on his fucking driveway. These are serious, serious allegations that people yeah. can do it's serious real, jail time for. People can do serious jail time for this stuff. Yeah. And when people are sitting there saying these things and you ain't got the proper, solid, 100% proof, it's a dangerous thing to do because I'm not being funny. Put every, Everybody put your, your, yourself in them shoes and if the old Bill and the Gavers knocked on your door and sat there and said to you, oh, well, we've had load of report that you're drink driving and you know full well you ain't, you, you know, you know about it. You will know. He doesn't have to be driving here and he has to be sitting in a vehicle with the keys within his hand's reach to be actually done for being intoxication in a vehicle. Yeah, he doesn't no, actually have to, to be sit, driving it anywhere. So, what, so you're not allowed to sit in your, on your driveway? No, you are car. actually legally not allowed to sit in your car with your keys in hand's reach while you are drinking alcohol. It's, 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 called, it's actually yeah. called being, in, being drunk in charge of a vehicle. Yeah, that is true. So you're wrong, Alfie. You actually have to, if you cannot sit in your own car, in your own driveway or anywhere else you where you have you access you to kids. Okay, but then to sit there and say that he was driving that car when he wasn't yeah, that, driving that, is that wrong. car, what, that's can I different. Can I say to Alfie and everybody else, is the physical evidence of Tony driving his car while he's been intoxicated or was he just sat no. in a car? He was just sat there, Miss Red. He, he was, was saying that he drove to McDonald's and he was waiting in the car park at the McDonald's and he come come and get me, I'm waiting in the car park. Then he said, I'm driving home from McDonald's. I've just got back home from McDonald's. I'm in my own driveway now. He was the one that said that while he was on live. Have you not heard of people saying things to be sarcastic? Oh, I have heard. But if you want to put in full context what actually happened also, Tony and Exposed know each other personally off the app. So when he went at her saying, um, do you want a, a punch in the face? He could have picked any or many, like many. Just let me finish. You had your say. He could have picked any context of domestic violence for saying, what if a woman had, had been assaulted in any other way. He knows her history. He chose to use her own history for a woman who's had her face reconstructed after domestic violence at her. That is a personal attack. Yeah, he could have said, dad, has she been... ...to wash the wax at your ears and listen to that video properly. Right, Miss Red, I, I was in there. I watched off. the whole thing. I was in there. I saw the whole thing. 
I'll, I'll post the, the slow down version of it up. The so wider context is he's so angry and exposed, yet it was delusive Angie that bought his family issue to the app. It was her that held the first life for hours with his abusers. He went on and on about it for weeks. He went after her, then he befriended what? her. And then like anything else, it comes out on other pages as well. It wasn't exposed that bought that to the app. It was delusive Angie that bought that to the app. Why is other people being brought into this argument about a bloody emoji? What do you mean? Because at the end of the day, a purple heart is an emoji and everybody's at each other's throats over an emoji. Come on. Because because the three letter organisation does not own purple emojis. No, if you know anything, he does a lot of things for charity. He hijacked the purple heart. Yeah, but that's wrong because you should also know if you if you look up purple if you look up purple if if you look up purple hearts. I think Angie and Tony has, has also sorted the differences out. Do you know what I mean? Like I get. Yeah, that. But yeah, but he can't keep blaming someone else for bringing it to the app when she bought it to the app weeks before that. Like anything else that goes... Yeah, but that's not the same. Anything else that goes from one page to the other to the other to the other... people have done that exact thing when... That's exactly right. And then it always goes back to who bought it to the app. The person that bought it to the app was Angie. But if they've quashed their differences and they've actually spoken to each other... But it doesn't matter. She has already released all that information and there's thousands of people that heard it and it's still on there. That should be left in the past. They've, they've sorted that out. That should be left up. Yeah, it should really be left in the past. I, I no, it's, it's context for where does it come from. So he wants to put in context what happened, what was said, what he said on that live. Then there's the broader context of why did that, because he just accused, exposed of bringing it to the app, which is untrue. So that's not true. The bigger issue was why did he feel entitled to go around to multiple lives on that night and, and, and verbally assault multiple women? He didn't just go at them or the people in that room. He went for Remy. He went for Haley. He went for other people. He went for Lisa. He chose to go in and out of lives all that night while he was drinking, verbally assaulting. Not Tracy, respond, please. Who, me? Yeah. Right, did did anyone see the instigation for him to respond the way he responded? And would no one else respond the same when you've got a pack of, uh, like, a pack of wolves coming at you? You'd, you'd, you'd go out towards them, wouldn't you? I'm saying, look, I, I, I ain't been on it, Alfie. You know, I've been up and down the hospitals for a couple of weeks now. I just come on quickly last night and I seen the video and I heard what I heard. And I just think, come on, leave the man alone. He didn't say what you were all saying, he said. It's just getting twisted to a very dangerous situation because if it got in the hands of the wrong people, listen, this man, like, you know, this is very, it's, so, it's, so, it's such a dangerous, dangerous thing to be sitting there accusing things when you ain't got the full-blown, hard, 100% evidence. Yeah, yeah. Look, I know firsthand the, the crap that man and his wife have been put through because Liv, while it was all going on, every day me and her spoke. Not me and Tony, it was me and Livia. Yeah. And that man did try to unalive himself twice in one day. Can I just say one thing? Sorry for butting in. It's just I have to go off to work. Listen, the worst page on this app for trolling and giving people a bad name and going at people is exposed. Leave no, no, Angie no, no. go and everybody's no, trying no, no, to Pearl, go that's not right. and go on to Angie now. Listen, Pearl, that one, all that's them not videos right. were edited. So exposed no, and weren't. ashamed of yourself because you're running. You don't need to be ashamed of yourself. The mode. She don't need to be ashamed of herself. I was yes, in that yes. life. She's no, she didn't, Pearl. Personally, I don't no, think any of this should be brought on the app. She was attacked, she never exposed anybody. She Tony just caused she was hurt drunk, and harm was drunk. to lots of people. I the was there. So that's what I'm saying. So on everybody, that don't believe what you're saying. Because people's good at editing no, and Pearl, putting the narratives out there. So leave Tony and Angie alone. Exposed. Go and look at yourselves. Of course, it's all. So thank you, Somebody Jennifer, saying to her, would well, you like another smash in the face twice? He said twice, would you like uh, Would you like a smack in the face? But it wasn't just that what he said. We was on that, we was in that group and we was having a laugh. And, he, and you could ask anybody that was in there, the followers, the people. We was laughing and joking. And then when he came, exposed says, yeah, let him up. And the first thing he was doing 
was shouting, he was drunk, you could tell that, and it was aggressive. Now, I don't care, nobody is sticking up for Exposed. I don't care if anybody don't like her, she is still a woman that went through domestic violence, has had her face reconstructed, and all people are saying that is that uh, Exposed is wrong. Exposed is a bad group. Nobody knows Exposed that properly. Everybody that's in her group has had some kind of trauma, and everybody on this app, and you can ask the ladies yesterday when I went in there, I chose to say some of my uh, problems, but it's not just one person doing this, it's more. And what they're getting is, they're getting airtime, they're getting gifts off the back of a woman that's been through domestic violence. He should never have even said that to her as a man. Would he have said it to his wife? So would, would it be okay say, then for a woman to say it? Would he say it to his daughters? No, but nobody is sticking up for exposed because of all these problems that's happened before. So they all want to go at her. And that's, all and that's where say. the context comes back into where does it start from? Yeah. Same as saying, Alpha, you said, you know, do people have the right to go around the app and say things like that? And Neither it, does it, Tony it, have the right to go right. around the app and accuse people of being in a three letter group because he was angry and he couldn't control his anger. And also, yeah. people have the right to respond. And to see and to hear now. Lisa explain how much trouble she has had since yesterday about people. Coming after her because up. he Can said something in Facebook. anger and expects Can it to be accepted? Sorry, That's wrong. To exposed. He brought his anger into that live because he's got a problem with exposed. And as a man, he shouldn't have a problem with a woman at all. Why is nobody saying... Sorry. But women can have a problem with sex. It's men that stick up for Tony over a woman that's been through domestic violence. Is that not I want sexist, one though? person in here to it say, is. I'm sorry that he said that to her. Nobody is. Okay. And it's not just about he that video. That is you really listen to the YouTube video and the disgusting things he said. In that, it's not just about exposed. It's not just about one person that live once. It was a, he attacked a, a everyone in that anger. room and yes, then in all the other all lives as well. Women. There was all women that he was attacking. And I don't care, care who you are, one person just come up here and say with chest and with uh, having a problem with exposed, I'm sorry that you had to be triggered by a man that said twice, not once, twice, what about you having a smack? Of, he don't care how it was represented. He knew what he was going to say to her to hurt her. Now everybody, he could have said he, anything else. Yeah, he could have no, said someone was in some any, other no, way. He chose to use. He chose to use her history as his example of domestic violence, yeah. which was yeah. a personal attack on it exposed. Was. It was. Yeah. And it's all Okay, can I hear from Sam, please, guys? Mandy, Mandy. Hi, Sam. Can we hear Mandy? No, I was, I was sitting there because it was like Mandy was talking sense there. And I thought you were talking over her. Can we hear Mandy? But she has to see. And I know, darling, but Mandy's spoken, you know, I've, I've got to move on with the box. Oh, so have a wee, wee minute, a wee minute, you can. Well, I say to Exposed, you're a fantastic woman. It, it was wrong what he said. Nobody is sticking up for her and saying, sorry, it's just a. Guys, can can um, I'd like to hear from Mary, please. Hi, Mary. Hello. Can I just quickly say something? Yeah, I get it. You know, exposes a woman, and uh, you show her respect. What about the respect she showed Tony? What about all the women in that box that were jumping down his throat while he was trying to get his point across? Why, why is that okay that women can shout at men, but when men do it to women, it's different? Why is that what okay? What about the only when times that he joins their boxes is when he's drunk and he's abusive and he calls them all names? They hated him so much. Why did they let him back in that box again and again and again? Because he was I'm just going to say my opinion. Hold on, hold on, I didn't finish Because there's someone on this app that I cannot fucking stand. She's a snaky bitch. Her name's Patricia. 
she was very close to Tony and Liv, saying that she supported them and all that bullshit. I called her out. Would I have her in my box again? Absolutely fucking not. If I hated someone that much, would I give them a platform to speak? No, I wouldn't, but they did. And they run their mouth to him. And then when he gave it back, they didn't like that because he's a man. Well, guess what? He's a man that's been through DV as well. Why would he mock that? He's been on his knees to several people crying out of... You'd have to ask pain, him why he pain. makes that. You'd have why to ask that him okay? that. They why can't answer okay that question. For women to have a go at him when he can't have it back. It's embarrassing. It's you asked the question about why do they go at him. The only time he enters their box is late at night when he's been drinking and he comes in yeah, and he's abusive. He's not hurt, one Sarah. He's hurt. Well, that doesn't the give him the right to then hurt they other people. Him a pedlo. They said that he was mocking DV, that he, he was a DV abuser. He had to put up his own DBS to prove his own innocence for people like you. And yet that's still not fucking good enough. You're all a bunch of wankers. To answer you know. your question, why did they let him in? You See asked the later. question, why did they let him in? They let him in because he was the, slagging them off. He was the one that was being slanderous to them. And yet again, in delusive Angie's live before he went. Why are we going back to delusive Angie? Yeah. Like. You of Angie? Because you keep asking for context. So if you want context, it's why did they let him in? They let him in because he was already attacking them well, in Sarah, a different way. I don't line. mean to be rude and I'm trying to be as plot as I can with you, but if you want the full context, go and listen to the video properly. I have listened to it. I was in it. And he also didn't answer the question when asked last night repetitively, why does he feel he has the right to go on to TikTok when he's drunk and go to multiple rooms and attack multiple women? He has to retaliate. He has to stand up for himself because no one. Remy else didn't killed. attack but him. He no, was wrong no, about Miss Remy. Haley didn't me. attack him. He was wrong about Haley. Stand up for yourself. You're not listening. Remy didn't attack him. Haley didn't attack him. Lisa didn't attack him. So why does he think he has the right to go to multiple rooms? Apart from the group of women in that life, he then went to multiple other rooms and attacked other people. What I'm saying is that I think none of this really should have been brought on the app. I think it should have really stayed off the app. Yeah. So then address it with Angie. Why did Angie talk with it? So, sorry, guys. Let's not bring Angie into it because she's not Thank involved in the event. He's involved. And she had him in her life. They were both going on that explosion. And it's not good for anybody, really. It was months ago, the Angie and Tony. No, thing. she oh, had him in her so live nice. that night. You're not listening, Miss Red. She had him in her live and they were both going on about exposed before he went into the exposed live. She is involved because he went from one live to the other. So if you don't know that he was in Angie's live, you need to find the footage and ask Angie because she'll have it for the 30 days and ask her to show you what they were saying in their life. So he's no one allowed to go in other people's lives now in case of... No, no, I'm still in context. Why was he so angry when he entered? Because they'd already G'd each other up in the other live. But they obviously knew what they were doing when they let them in, though. Yeah. Yeah, the story is... So in the same context, they can't defend themselves when he talks bad about them, but he's allowed to do slag multiple women off who weren't involved in multiple lives when someone says something about him. The moral of the story is, say, okay. the moral of the story is, listen, it's, it can go round and round for hours. Well, you shouldn't yeah. have done this, yeah, but you shouldn't have done this. But you should, listen, everybody's done something fucking stupid. But what I'm trying to get to, the only reason I've come up in this live, I don't know what's happened elsewhere. I've, I'm not aware, so I'm not going to comment on it. I'm not going to sit there and put me two pence in because they don't, you don't want me two pence. But at the end of the day, the accusations that have been thrown about at him, saying that he's gone to a woman and actually sat there and said, oh, yeah, you need a punch in the face, which yeah, is that. wrong, which is wrong. At the end of the day, he didn't say that. I've slowed the recording down. I've sent it to Olivia. I'm sure it will be put wherever it needs to be put. But at the end of the day, listen, everyone's done something stupid. 
It can go round and round in it for hours and hours, sitting there saying, oh, yeah, you've done this, you've done this, you've done that. We've all done something fucking stupid. And, yeah, maybe it took the, the, the full root of it is that none of it should have been brought on the app without 100% hard, solid proof at the end of the day. And that's what I said. And, that's, and you can't just all just blame exposed. You need to I'm understand not, that not everyone has myself. responsibility for their actions that were involved. I'm so instead of anyone getting up and not giving you one from that side to have their say. Should, should I tell me an apology then? I'm not blaming exposed at the end of the day. I don't know exposed. I ain't got a word to say about her because I don't know the woman. I've never seen her live, nothing. I've got nothing to say about her. But at the end of the day, and I'm sure if I was in a live stream where I see something that Exposed said and it was twisted, I would do the exact same, just like I did for Gypsy Queen, just like I did for a couple of other people, yeah? At the end of the day, the accusations that have been thrown around about this man, listen, I don't know about any of the other ones, I know about the one that I heard, and I know exactly what I heard, and I slowed it down and I put it out there for people. Please, can I say something? Yeah. I'm not saying don't call out bad behaviour, that's not what I'm saying. But can we get back to this thing of this monkey? At the end of the day, that Purple Heart is used for many, many different charities like epilepsy, which my son has, DV, which I've been through, um, pancreatic cancer. So it's, to me, it's just crazy and it costs nothing to be kind. That's all I've got to say. Thank you, Anne-Marie, darling. All right. Thank you. That is very true. It really doesn't cost much to be kind to someone. Like, we all don't know what's going on in people's lives. Exactly. So we shouldn't exactly. really be saying things online because we don't know what's going on at home. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly. true. Maybe, playing it back. Maybe BLM needs to choose. Maybe what it really intended to for. Yeah, maybe PLM needs to choose a different emoji to represent themselves because, as yeah. you've just stated, that PLM one... need going off the app, Elf. It's simple as. I think it goes back to the that same thing. No go. one owns a certain colour. No one owns. Sorry, guys. Uh, do you know what I do, Dan? Sorry, sorry, Miss Red, but all, all I'm trying to say is maybe, listen, if you're aware that that purple heart means a hell of a lot to somebody that is going through something that is very traumatic for them and something that's very big for them, and it does cover a lot of different disabilities or maybe uh, things that are going on, I'm not sure if it is all disabilities, but if that is something that encompasses that umbrella of people, maybe that PLM group, listen, whether they need to get off the app or not, maybe they need to, re they need to understand that you shouldn't use that one and maybe find Find a different um a different emoji to sit there and represent exactly i mean i've been too scared to have a purple heart in my name oh. and yet my son has severe epilepsy yeah and it shouldn't i shouldn't have to feel like that no Look, i'm classed as disabled right by the medical professionals because i have parkinson's disease but i don't need a color to represent my disability i'm not saying everybody does no i know i know what you're saying you know, the context is people are seeing it as a bad thing when it's not. Yeah, yeah I do get that. Maybe some people think people... Sorry, guys. People. Please let me speak. I've always associated purple hearts with the three-letter words. You know, yeah. the three, I, I really have. Whenever yeah, I speak, and I do too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do, do you wonder... So I get where Tony was coming from with oh, that. Yeah. I do, I do. Uh, if you look at Online, if you look up where people have ribbons for any sort of foundations, charities, any sort of support, if you look up purple, it will list all the different things that it covers. Yeah. It might cover that one, which is not online, but it definitely covers domestic violence. It covers epilepsy. It covers pancreatic cancer. There are so many things. No one owns a particular colour the same way that Elphaba doesn't own green hearts and all the controversy that causes. No one owns a certain colour. So if people aren't sure, they can Google it because they're all on their phones or their computers so they have access to Google and then this wouldn't like it go further and become this whole thing on the app. And for those that are saying I'm heartless because I'm not thinking of Tony, I'm concerned that that's the point he got to, but for the same recognition that everyone says, if you're struggling, then you take the time and get off the app. Take time away, put your family first. Don't come on and say to people, 
do you know all the problems that you're causing for my wife? Because without context, he is weaponizing his wife when he throws her into an argument. No one ever brings his wife into the argument. But in the same token, Miss Red, you always say you give both people consideration. Is Exposed still blocked or why has she not been asked to join these boxes? Uh, because be honest, given, you've given yeah, not only me, Tony... Sarah, you've asked me a question. Please let me speak. Thank you. I haven't blocked the woman, okay? She's not blocked at all. You could have asked me if, if she's blocked. So the chat keeps saying, can you... The chat's saying, can I ask you to unblock her, yeah, please? Yeah, so if, yeah, thank you. That's all you had to say. I didn't know she was blocked. All you had to say is misread, exposed is blocked. Can you unblock her so she can come in? And I would have said yes. But it's not exposed. That's it's what I'm just saying. If Tony got to say his side, then you always say you give the other person the right to do it. Guys, I've had enough of being spoken over. I'm so sorry. Um, so, guys, if exposed is blocked, mods, can you unblock exposed, please, so she can come in? Yeah, I don't like being shouted at. I didn't know she was blocked, right? You can't blame the woman for being unaware of something. Miss Red. But it's your life, Miss Red. Why can you not block people? No, I didn't know she was blocked, obviously, because if we're speaking about that, so obviously, it's your life, it's your life. It's the way I work, you know, but I'm, I'm not being shouted at. No, I'm uh, sure. She's blocked. I've uh, got mods. Please go in and unblock her so she can come in and have her say thank you. Um, where we heard from hi doctor I'm just going to say I'm going to go now but that's the only reason I come in was just to sit there and say to you is, listen they're big accusations the audio has been sent to Tony of the slowed down one so if anybody is interested in it please do go and listen to it I don't know about exposed I've not got a bad word to say about anyone because listen to be honest if I ain't got your phone number I don't know you well enough mm -hmm. um, so I hope that you all listen. I really hope that you all have a really good day, and I hope that you, you know, maybe we can get past this. But um, yeah, listen, enjoy the rest of your days, and I'll see you all later. I hope you have a good day as well, Alfie. See ya. Yeah, I'm. I'm yeah. gonna draw. It's the first time I've ever been in anyone's box, so thank you. I could love you, Anne Marie. You. Um, oh, thank you, Anne Marie. You've done amazing. Thank you thank so much. Same for me. Right. I, this I'm is the first time I've ever been live as well. <laughs> thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye, darling. Yeah. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you, Mary. That's okay, I'm off now. But before I go, can Thank I just tell Sarah? I know she's gone now, but I've just realised that it weren't Thank Andrew you. first brought it to the app. It was a woman called Tink. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, well, darling. See you all later. Have a good day, you lot. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Oh, big love. Thank you, everybody that's joined the box today. And uh, where did Duck go? How do I get out? <laughs> you have done amazing for your first time in the box. Please Thank don't you. be a stranger. I'm shaking. <laughs> oh, you've done amazing. And it's it's been tough boxes today as well. Yeah. Thank you, though. Bye, darling. Bye. Bless her. Oh, God. Oh, he has trouble. Hello. Hiya, Joe. Hi, I've just um had to go through the list and she's unblocked now so i'm just letting you know okay thank you darling i, ge I genuinely didn't know she was blocked because before uh sending love to your live darling before i'd done the live it's not really a big deal that she that she's blocked or not she's yeah. the, the, the issue is now is that she's unblocked there you go that's that's done yeah. <clears throat> all right thank you jay bye jay yeah is the bunker open? You're fucking right it is. It's going to be open all bloody day. <laughs> okay, thank you, darling. <laughs> oh, guys, the bunker. Right, so Expose has been unblocked, guys. Uh, I rarely block people on my TikTok. Uh, so, yeah, you know I'm not blocking people. The mods are in charge of that. Uh, yeah, big love, Liv. And JD as well. I hope you still hear JD. I'm sending you lots of love as well. And everybody that's that's joined the boxes today, thank you so much. I'm sorry if it was triggering. We have had um, the mods ping polls of uh, charity numbers and people that you can speak to. Um, thank you, Kirsty. Sometimes when things make the FYP, it is... Um, 
it's you know it is going to be triggering especially the situations but it was you know big on the fyp and and uh yeah thank you for everybody for coming in today and we'll see you tomorrow morning guys the bunker is open so if you want to head over there um yeah yeah sorry lulu darling you, you are able to take yourself out the live at any point if you do find it triggering you know no one's forcing anybody to sit here and and watch you know uh, but we do our best to keep it as safe as we can um right guys unblock people who am i blocking thank you prince darling right let's say our thank yous thank you to that's all folks, only Crizzle, Emma Louise, Claire A, PJ, Anxiety Chris, Jackie, Prince Brat, TJ, Pauline, Joey Tiki Regan, Amethyst, Mostly, Mo Moistly, Merc Moist Face, we got that one, Jade, Stacey, Roxy, Stormy Rain, Danielle, Claire Louise, Melissa, Sam, Hayley, Kimber, Shell, High Priestess, Keely, Kemp, Tiz, Zara and Mandy and everybody else that's tapped the screen and, and said whatever you can. So basically, guys, uh, uh, lots of love right back to you. I will see you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Big love, TJ. And we will do the uh, subscription only chat, not live. Everybody's mental health is important and I'm sending love to all uh, DV survivors, whether you're male or female. I'm sending you all my love honestly from the bottom of my heart um yeah big love play but thank you to the mods for looking after the room as well uh, i will enjoy my chinese food tonight not really guys on a friday yes thank you solely big love everybody and look after each other bye guys